a UFC Bantamweight tilt. is truly unbelievable. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. and he went back to it there and lands. Over and over again, he has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Under two minutes to go in a back-and-forth first round here. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ten seconds to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right then a left. Dillashaw's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. You'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh. Oh, there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, it's not too... Wow! Well. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big 
punch land. Oh, straight right. Oh! Just misses with the right. Look at him drive the shin into his own body with that body kick. Dillashaw's his strike attempt there is blocked. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to... On that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing for weakness to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Oh, he got a bad! Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh! This dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Look at the finish now because he's got an opponent hurt very bad. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a fight! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by the Magic Man. Well, he's smiling.